Hi everybody. It's Dem and Sensation. Um, I just have something that I kind of wanted to share because I think it's a very important in this day of age that we hear what's going on around us. Um, these issues relate directly to a big part of my life and um, my heart goes out to the people who suffer from bullying and not being accepted for who they are. Um, it really sucks to have to live in 2012 and still not find acceptance in some places. So, um, I read this on Facebook and was pretty upset, again, that we're still losing our teenagers to, to bullying, to suicide, because they're not feeling accepted, because they're not getting loved, because somebody is not telling them it's okay to be who they are. Friends and family are mourning the loss of a Minnesota teen who jumped to his death last Sunday after allegedly being tormented by classmates for being gay. As a Rochester Post Bulletin is reporting, 17-year-old J. Corey Jones of Rochester, Minnesota had suffered severe depression after being bullied for a number of years. Jones had known he was gay from a young age, according to his father, J. Strayler. Police officials say Jones jumped from a pedestrian bridge near Century High School on May 6th. He said all of his life they always picked on him. Strader is quoted as saying he'd still try to keep his head up at school, but then he'd come home and be really sad about everything. He just got really depressed about it because the guys weren't accepting him. You know, I don't have to know this boy to know that what is happening in this world is wrong. This is one of a number of teenagers who have taken their life over the last few years on account of being gay, not accepted, being different, being outside of the box. I just want to say to all of those people out there who are outside of that box, I love the hell out of you. And you are absolutely beautiful just the way you are. Keep your chin up, kids, because there's a beautiful world out there. And all you got to do is get rid of all these people around you. When you finally get to that spot in life, you're going to find a family out there that opens their arms and loves you no matter who you are. And I would love to be that first person in line to give you a hug. Because you are beautiful no matter what. The rest of the world, shame on you. It's 2012. Get with the damn program. It is a diverse world out there. And if we can't work together, we shouldn't be on the same fucking planet. Pay attention to your youth. These kids need us and we should be there for them. That's all I have to say tonight. I love you. Thank you for listening. Diamond Sensation. Checking out.